Bad Connection is the last fun one before everything hits the fan. Yep, we're down to the final three after this one. And things are about to get serious. So, for one more time, let's have a bull... bull nothing filler episode. And who's the subject of this filler episode? But none but the writer's favorite punching bag, Ah, Delarovia. I swear, all throughout season three, he was a punching bag. Multiple times in season two, he gets decked. And of course, losing an entire Lyoko power from season one is the ultimate disgrace. Bad Connection acts as the final nail in this character's coffin from a respect kind of ability. Why? Because, man, do they make, make Odd look rather the gentleman, but also at the same time, rather weak at the same time. And why is he so emotionally weak? Because of his parents. And his parents are like Rainbow Dash's parents from parental guidance. Yeah, they're those parents. The super supportive, always love what you do, never want to discipline you, you super fan parents. Who just want the best for their kid. The exact tonal opposite of the other two parent sets that we've met on this show. Yui's parents can't get along for more than five seconds. Oryx's parents are complete and total douches. Odd's parents? Cool. Jeremy's family? Cool. So I guess it balances out. But odds are the most eccentric of the four. And why are they here? To visit their young steward who's got a new movie idea. It's once again in the director's chair of a horror flick in which they are involved. But it turns out that poor Elizabeth Dallas, she's lost cell service, and she ain't happy about it. But luckily for her, the timing could not be more perfect, as Xana unleashes his final upon mass attack, possessing the entire school. Yep, that's right. Everyone, facility, teachers, people, everyone, every background character that has ever been in Gaddock Academy gets one last very funny and very evil time to shine. As Xana heard odd, that everyone's too nice to him, and naturally in Xana, I'm a douche fashion, decided, let's just flip that temperament switch, shall we? And now it's Odd Della Romeo versus the world, literally, as everyone, and I mean everyone, wants to kill him. Ever felt certain days like the entire world is out to get you? That the minute you step out the door, that the world's gonna have some cosmic payback? That you're gonna get struck by a lightning? Well, Adela Rovia is having that day, literally. And the only ally that he can confide in, slash save is Sissy, 
who, thanks to her cell phone problem, isn't caught up in the attack like everyone else. Which is quite ironic. And quite great that they set off that early Chekhov's gun. What makes this episode entertaining enough to be a four is the fact of the adults themselves slinging insults with every single line. I mean, they even find a way to make Nicholas terrifying as he tries to hunt Odd in the cafeteria. <laughs> he, he's still one light bulb short of a full set. But leave it to Xana to even make up for personality gaps. On the Lyoko side of things, it's pretty standard. It's an Aelita show-off episode, let's be honest. Saving her friends from falling into an endless, endless pit while doing matterization in midair. Her wing player, her energy field accuracy. This girl gets the show-off. One last time before it all starts to really go downhill. And I mean, really. Sure, she doesn't end up in a great plot again, thankfully. But for the team, the attacks are about to get real bad. As for Oric and Yumi, they're there too, doing their best. Oric is doing cool saves. Yumi is getting devirtualized by total BS, as is typical for Ishiyama. She gets devirtualized by a canker lot of all things. <sighs> the poor girl. She and Odd repeatedly in the series have been getting puppy kicked, and yet this is another example. They're just treated badly sometimes by the writers. And even Jeremy is given handcuffs, seeing that he doesn't have enough machine resources to virtualize the vehicle. So, it's one at a time. And until then, they got hold out. That's the pressure situation. William isn't even used in this episode. If he would have used him, it would have been a lead pipe cinch of a win. But, no. William's not used here. It's a pretty substandard episode. This episode feels like it should be in season 3. Not nearing the end of the entire series. But yet, here we are. Bad Connection gets a 4 out of 6. It's funny, it's entertaining watching Odd have to run for his life. But beyond that, that's pretty much it. This is a swan song for the subcast. And they really shine here. For, for a show based around such a complex yet simple premise, it's funny how they made the space of Kedek Academy come alive through its myriad of students and teachers. It's great to see that for at least one last time, we get to see how great this cast is. And if you love the sub-players of this virtual drama, this is their last bow before be being totally a waste from the plot for the most part. So enjoy this one. I'll see you next week for Cold Sweat. Yep. We're down to only three of these things. Happy October, everyone.